It's a common complaint from people who try to park downtown. They end up getting a ticket in the mail, even if they didn't stop in a lot. Now, the parking company responsible for dozens of lots across the metro area is facing fines of their own. The Colorado Attorney General reached a settlement with Parking Revenue Recovery Services, saying that the company unlawfully collected thousands of dollars in fees. Our investigator, Karen Morfitt, has been looking into this issue. And Karen, this is welcome news for a lot of people. Uh, Michael, it's for those who've already paid, but also for those who are still fighting, like the couple that we spoke with earlier today who simply drove in one of these lots and then out of that same lot. They say they refused to pay for a service they didn't receive. It kind of reads to me like they want to get away with this. Kyle Green and wife Carly Brink were visiting a museum in downtown Denver in June. It just also happened to be the Pride Parade as well, so it was extraordinarily busy. While they expected parking would be at a premium, they never thought they'd pay for looking. We drove in looking for parking and they were full and then we drove out and then found parking in another lot. A week later, they got a notice saying they owed $87. It included pictures of their car entering and leaving, but not where they parked. We did drive through the lot to go in and we did drive through to go out. With Pride going on, there's a lot of traffic in the area and it was very difficult to just go in and out. While trying to dispute the ticket, they got a letter from an attorney looking to collect their debt, but they've struggled to talk with anyone and a search of the company's name, Parking Revenue Recovery Services, found they weren't alone. Maybe 10, 10 plus of cases of issues with the company. That number is actually much higher and prompted an investigation by Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser looking at complaints from the past two years. People were right. They had documentation that they had paid. They were still being billed, overbilled. A lot of people ended up just paying because they're like, I don't want to go into collections. This week, the company agreed to pay refunds to nearly 450 people who paid fines they didn't owe totaling a little more than $30,000. Under the terms of this agreement, they need to change their practices. They are on notice that if they don't change their practices, we're watching. His best advice is if you believe you've been wronged and have the evidence to prove it, don't give in. Brink and Green are hoping their decision to do that will pay off. Don't be afraid to be an advocate for yourself. Now, in a statement, the vice president of that company says they will continue to dismiss parking tickets for those who received one in error, but they do deny any wrongdoing and say that they chose to settle this case in order to focus on their operation and avoid any unnecessary costs. Now, he also says that they're upgrading the system for filing disputes and responding to those disputes right now and that they are upgrading the technology here at some of these lots as well so they can better track cars that are just going in and out and not parking in the lot. We asked about this couple's complaint. He says he's going to look into it. We're live in Denver tonight. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.